going on, everybody? The Daily Ground, Mike Reynolds, coming to you this Thursday, November 12th. The, the sounds you're listening to right now are the sounds of impromptu. It is what it is. The name of this track is called Love to Ball. Uh, it's a very good CD. You guys, check it out. I'm going to give that to you again. Impromptu. It is what it is. I want to get to the business at hand right now. Like I said, I know I haven't been on, you know, the um, vlogs for a minute. You know and I'm saying? My bad. I'm sorry about that. But uh, like I said, I'm back now. I'm trying to do these things uh, daily because that's what it's going to be called, the daily grind. But uh, a couple things I want to get at you guys right now. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm having a dilemma right now. Before I get to the, the smooth jazz stuff and everything, I'm having a dilemma right now about which breakfast cereal I should eat. Uh, right now it is currently, I think it is uh, about 10, 30, 11 o'clock a.m. Like I said, so I want some cereal today. I'm an old school kind of guy. So my question to all of you out there, what is your all-time favorite breakfast cereal? Now the choices I have today are, are check it out, Frosted Flakes and Cap'n Crunch. Frosted Flakes and Cap'n Crunch. Now, about the time you watch this video, I probably already made a bowl of one of the one of the two choices. But uh, let me know what's your all-time favorite breakfast cereal. You know, uh, I know you, you guys still eat cereal right now. Um, no matter how old you are, you eat some cereal. If you got kids in your house, you eating some cereal. Okay, you eating some uh, Cap'n Crunch, Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms, Cocoa Puffs, Fruity Pebbles. Some you eating some. So let me know what is your all-time favorite breakfast cereal. Okay, now to the real business at hand. Uh, like I said, I'm looking at Robert right fast. Uh, a couple things we'll get at. I want to say, um, give a shout out to my man Troy Rollins, who um, came back to Baltimore this past Halloween to do a uh, masquerade party slash uh, a book event. Uh, the young lady's um, book that he's helping to publish is uh, named Latia N. Lynch. And the name of her book is Demon or Demon. Like I said, I let a friend of mine read it. She said it was good reads. It was a very good book. So uh, I'm going to check it out next, Troy. So let's say let people know where they can pick the book up at too, Troy. Uh, I think it's Amazon.com and other places like that. But uh, let me get it to you again. Uh, Demon or Demon by Latia N. Lynch. So uh, check that out, everybody. Like I said, that's a uh, good book and everything. Like I said, according to my friend, like I said, I'm going to read it next. So she said it was good, so I know it's good because she's an avid reader. But um, I want to give a couple of shout outs before I get off of here and everything. First shout out I want to give out to is a young lady by the name of um, Rita Shelby. Uh, she hit me up and sent me her CD. Uh, as you guys know, you know we do this Toga Spoof Jazz show. But uh, this was one CD that I wasn't really expecting. Uh, Miss Shelby, thanks for the CD. I haven't listened to it yet, but I will listen to it soon. And uh, that's it right there. Rita Shelby, a date with a song. Uh, I love the cover um, and everything. It looks pretty nice. I'm going to check it out. But you guys know how it is. Um, a couple of more shout outs. Like, so I'm going to give a shout out to my man, uh, Royale Watkins, and the Mixtape Comedy Crew. Uh, like I said, Royale, like I said, um, hit me up, asked me how I was doing, Royale. I'm doing fine. I said, sorry I didn't repost and reply to you, but like I said, I'm letting you know right now, I'm doing fine, doing great, brother. Uh, my man, Cato Hammond. Um, Cato Hammond, a bomb squad member with the uh, Stew Bits. Like I said, Cato, I'm, I'm checking the Stew Bits. I like that. That's a nice. Uh, Concept you got going on with the uh, entertainment news and the stew bits. Um, give a shout out to um, who else? I'm gonna give a shout out to man. Um, uh, oh, my man Simon Carr. Simon Carr for the punchline shirt. Check out, check the shirt. His um, his uh, shirt, his clothing brand, his clothing line is called Punchline. Uh, like I said, uh, Simon Carr is a boxer from Philly. Like I said, uh, he has his own clothing line. It's a punchline. It's a pretty nice shirt. Like I said, I pretty much like this. Like I said, he came to the fight. To the Maurice Byron fight and uh, hook us up with uh, some shirts and everything. Like I said, so I'm probably like I said, uh, rock this for a minute. Like I said, so Simon, looks like good up. Thanks for the shirt, man. Um, who else, man? Um, give a shout out a couple. Lim Dot, Lim Holler, Lim uh, Dunnigan for the uh, Good Morning Facebook show. Like I said, that's my man, Lim, Lim Dunnigan. So check him out. Like I said, tell a friend, add a friend to my Daily Grind group and to his Lim Dot uh, experience. The, what is it? The, the Lim Dunnigan experience. So I've been checking that out. Uh, like I said, I'll give a shout out to my man, Music Man uh, Marvin Lewis. I mean, uh, yeah, Marvin. Music Man Marvin. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about the daggone what's his name. But um, 
I've been sitting there <laughs> chatting with a couple people. So Marvin, good luck. Like I said, hit me up on the uh, BlackBerry Messenger, man. I'm just learning how to use that. So hit me up on that, Marvin. But uh, of course, I'm give a shout-out to uh, my man Daryl Dobson, King Dobson. Shout-out to him. And a shout-out to my man Dirk Kenny. Like I said, Dirk Kenny and Band Media. Like I said, so Dirk, like I said, we're going to try to do the thing. Like I said, 2010 is fast approaching. So we're going to try to get together, hook some stuff up with Band Media and, uh, you know, the... Uh, Bam TV. So, like I said, stay on the lookout for that, y'all. Uh, and also, we'll give a shout-out to my man, Anthony Anderson. Like I said, and him and Royale for the mixtape, but Anthony um, left a status message saying he was going to be on Martha Stewart today. So, I just checked it out, and he made this big-ass rock plant with Martha Stewart on the show. So, uh, Anthony, I said, big up for the big cement rock plant that your Martha made. I don't know what the hell it was, but it was a big-ass rock plant. But um, it was a pretty nice, pretty nice rock plant. Um, follow me on Twitter. The Daily Grind, like I said, follow me on Twitter, T-H-A, The Daily Grind, and hit me up on YouTube, so this is where it's going to go to YouTube and, and to Facebook, so hit me up on that, like I said, tell a friend to add a friend to The Daily Grind, because I'm back, we're going to start doing this thing, and everything like that, but, but before I go, this weekend, I want you guys to check out Talking Smooth Jazz on Blog Talk Radio, we're having um, Russell Blake, bassist Russell Blake, will be on the um, show on Saturday, and then on Sunday, we're going to have saxophonist Tom Braxton. Uh, like I said, so check it out. It's going to be, like I said, you know, we give you guys nothing but the best interviews uh, with the best artists um, of the smooth jazz genre. Uh, like I said, December 19th, we have Najee coming onto the show. Like I said, uh, the man, Najee, will be on the show talking to us about his new CD, Mind Over Matter. And um, like I said, we're setting some things up. Like I said, we try to do some big things for, you know, for next year and everything like that. So hit us up. Blog Talk Radio, Talking Smooth Jazz. Impromptu new CD, hit it up, very nice. Like I said, check out the book again. Just give me all one time, you know, Demon or Demon. Hit me up, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Like I said, the grind is back. I'm sorry I've been gone. But like I said, hey man, you know I can't post these things every day for y'all. But like I said, but I'm back now, so I'm gonna try posting daily. Hit me up when you get a chance. Let me know. Again, breakfast cereal, Frosted Flakes, Cabin Crunch. Which one should I eat? And what is your all-time favorite cereal? Peace, I'm out of here.